calls them to the center for final instructions. So it's the glove if you want now. Okay. Stare down there from Sam Chick Dean. Yeah, Sam, look at the look at the face on Sam Chick. She's smiling. She can't wait to get in this. And that's a big aspect as well, being psychologically ready and confident in your own performance. So Nina back. The silver medalist in the Euros, can she go one further now? Samchik takes the centre, cage low kick from back as Samchik pushes forward. Then the midsection kick, Samchik looking to walk her down but back, working freely at the moment and that nice timing as Samchik comes in just to break her rhythm again. Being looking to go to the body here. Often she'll look down at the legs. There we go. And it could be a telltale sign if, you, if your opponent is looking down at your legs. It could tell you, look, I'm going to try and kick you in the legs here. If Sam check can, can kind of time that check and then respond with that big overhand right. Well, she here she goes it. looking for that takedown because when she got it in the first round of the semi final, she followed it, Dean, with some vicious ground and pound. And that's what she'll be looking for again and landed fortuitously there after Sam check looked to reverse that. Yeah, I mean, Samchik, very strong in the clinch. She's a really strong girl, but she almost pulled uh, her opponent onto her in, in back there. And, you know, this is now Nina's going to work in this position. She, she has loads of success when she gets to the mounted position just like this or side control. She's just got immense uh, pressure from the top to, to land those strikes. Well, if she gets that full mount, this was the identical to her semi-final. And when she got that full mount, she wasted very little time in getting the ground and pound. And here she postures up again, Dean. These are dangerous times for Samchik. Back now has got to free those arms. It looks like she might be trying to set up a submission here. She could go to the back as long as she keeps the hooks in. She's going to try and flatten Sam check out, expose the neck, work the punches in there. Yes, dangerous times indeed from Sam Chick. And we see that the Swedish corner there, they, they've got a feeling this could be another first round finish. Here she goes again, looking to get those hooks in, flatten her out, Dean. And if she can get under that neck as well, this is dangerous times for Sam Chick from the Ukraine. Optimum control here from the back with those hooks. Uh, but back's got to be careful about going towards the head area of Samchek. She could get shaken off the back here and end up on her own back. And this might happen We're inside the last minute. And, th and there we go. She's on her back, but she set up the armbar. Look at that in the transition. She lost the position and then went for the submission. Yes, good work here from back. Samchek now has got to keep this arm nice and tidy she's got to work the rear naked choke configuration to stop it getting extended and she's got to try and posture out of this position sneak the elbow elbow past the hips of back and we're inside the last 30 seconds and dangerous times again from Sam Chick. and even if she survives it it will have been a dominant opening round for back so far and Sam Chick using those legs to configure around the head of back just trying to limit where she goes and back needs to almost certainly posture up and try and sit back onto, uh, onto Samchek to obtain this uh, armbar from the top position. That's why she's just holding on there. She senses the end of the round, perhaps even her coaches were shouting that. You know, hold on, ride the round out, and then start fresh the second round. Oh, bit of needle there at the end of the round from back as they disengaged, and Samchik was under pressure there right from the moment when she almost fell for Juicy, and then we saw what happens when Nina back got into that mount position and then switched it, and she had a lot of time to go first for the rear naked and then instead of for the arm body. Back's very technical with regards to her jiu-jitsu for MMA. She always makes sure she keeps heavy, she secures a position. And even when she does lose the position, she's still working. So she's forcing her opponent to constantly defend. If they're defending, they can't advance. Yeah, so we've got it a big round at the opener for Nina Back here in this strawweight final. The World Championships from the Kingdom of Bahrain. An incredible week of action culminating in this just two more rounds for these two young ladies to decide the gold and silver so round two and back quickly to the center of the ring 
Samchik working behind the jab, but then the straight right cross. Samchik was kind of, there was something wrong with her right arm. She was kind of pushing in her bicep area. I wonder if that arm bar took its toll or perhaps she's ho holding an injury there coming into this round. Well, as you said, it's a hard week to get to this position in the final and that can be pivotal if you're carrying injuries or not. But you can see what Back wants from this round. She fancies the chances again, taking it to the ground and works a lot of her stand up looking to set up that level change. Nina now using the head movement to disguise the kicks and punches and the circular lateral movement on the outside. This is what set up the angles that she lands from. She lands from crazy angles, looking for the overhand right initially, but she's so patient and she disguises it really well. Samchik doing a good job here though, of stopping her and good work there from the Ukrainian fighter, Dean. Yeah, Samchik very strong in the clinch, worked a lot on her wrestling game and we saw that and then she controlled the head of back and now finds herself on top in the guard position. This is defensive position for back. So back can set up submissions from this position. She could set up sweeps to end up on the top position. But you felt that at this moment in time, Samchik really needed this um, after that opening round with the control that back showed. Samchik really has to give us something here as well. Yeah, she's got to keep busy, otherwise the ref could stand this up. So she's got to try to actively pass the guard. See, the refs is clapping. She wants the, uh, the action to continue. More strikes, more advantages of position. But as you said, with someone like Bart, and having felt for that armbar in the opening round, Samchik, there's a bit, not timidity, but she will be wary of that, won't she? Yeah, I mean, she's got to be careful about Nina changing, changing the angle of her hips and be careful of leaving the arms in there. But at the moment, she's kind of doing a good job of flattening back out. Back needs to kind of contort to try and secure an arm and then put power through it through the hips. So coming up to the last minute, and there's been a bit of a turnaround in fortunes here in favour of Daria Samchik. And that right hand just going into the face of Nina Back. So I've just got to be careful here. She's holding on to that head, and that's the anchor at this point in time. She should have the underhook, however, underneath the right arm of Back. And Back, if she can sneak her head out of that position, she could potentially take the back. Back working the elevator sweep here. Looks to posture up Samchik again, though. Dean doing a good job keeping position, and we're inside almost the last 30 seconds now. And for me, if it stays this way, you'll have had a controlling round for back in the opener from Sweden. And then Samchik doing the same in the second for the Ukraine. As we go inside the last 30 seconds, and she's just staying busy with that right hand to the face of Nina Back. Back now using the cage to kick off. And she's allowed to kick in this position. She's allowed to explode off of that cage to try and escape and set up different positions, potentially even submissions. But it seems to me that she just wants to hold on to limit the damage here. But as you alluded to, Sam checks the one on top, landing these punches. Well, that's two rounds down. And for me, on my unofficial scorecard, I don't know about yours, Dean, that's one round apiece. We had Nina back controlling from the takedown position in the opening round. But then on the second round, Yes, she's good from her back, but she was controlled by Samchik for a large portion of that round. Yeah, this is where it becomes exciting. Do we see back coming out and pulling the trigger and really opening up with the strikes? Or do we see Samchik really chase for that takedown? And it's, it's nail-biting stuff because you, you almost want each athlete to do well, but you have to pick one. And as you rightly said, this is the third round now. This round is absolutely pivotal, pivotal and there's no tomorrow. It's gold or silver today, now, three last minutes. You've got to be courageous, surely. Yeah, you've got to listen to your coaches. You've got to be confident. You've got to pull the trigger. It seems to me Samchek's doing some squats there in the corner. Could be just a distractor from nerves. Keep the blood flowing. Um, it seems to me Samchek there is, um, you know, really digging deep psychologically to pull out this last round. Yes, and it is the last round in this, the female strongweight division. To decide who is the IMAF world champion and back rolling those shoulders as Sanchik comes forward nice right hand from Sanchik this is what she's got to do she's got to set up these strikes she's got to make back believe she wants to strike change levels and look for that takedown and immediately it's back that ties up you feel that it's back that wants to initiate this takedown well that's the thing back can do both she can level change she can threaten the takedown she can go for the takedown disengage and then strike when Sam checks sprawl. So, I mean, the, the options are there available for both of them. As it is yet, the left hand from Sam Chick as she came in, nice and accurate, that straight left from Sam Chick. And then the left and right, and Nina back just skips out of range as Sam Chick fires. And the uh, left reply from her is a cagey opening to this final round, Dean. 
The difference here as well is Back's head movement. When she strikes, she's always dipping. She's always moving. When she gets tagged, she moves out of range. Where Samcheck kind of leaves her head where it is. It's just in that stationary position. She's not working rolls or slips or even angles. That said, that's um, three just straight down the pipe, left and right, bread and butter punches that are landing and stopping Back engaging. So at the moment, again, Back, that's a couple of tired takedown attempts and Samcheck punished her there twice, Dean. This Samcheck, for me, winning these upright battles at the moment, Tired takedown attempts from Nina back. Yeah, Nina frantically now working for that takedown. She's got to set up these hands, though. She's got to fake the takedown, come up with the left hook, come up with the uppercut. She's really got to get busy here with the hands. Oh, oh. big right hand from Daria Sanchek. Nina back had to take that strongly, Dean. And the left jab, she really is winning this upright battle in the third round at the moment. Samjak is just growing with confidence here. When she strikes, she comes forward. She also kind of leans a little bit. She puts too much weight on that front leg. So I'd love to see back just change levels and get the takedown. Even if she wants to disengage on the ground, stand back up, she's going to get the points. Well, she's standing and trading with Daria Samchik at the moment. Now she looks for the takedown and she's, she's just got under a minute to do it. But I feel there's a level of fatigue to her as well here. And also, Samcheck is incredibly strong for this weight. She does a great job of using her hips there. Look at the way she spools down. She's got hold of the body. She's manipulating the legs. She does everything she possibly can with everything she's got to stop that takedown. Look at that. Flattens Nina back out. She's going to look to take her back now and strike to open these, this uh, TKO win here. She could potentially look for the TKO here, Malcolm. Well, here it is. She's grounding and pounding in the last 20 seconds. Our referee's close. These are heavy shots coming in. It's going to be... Very, very close for Nina back now with 15 seconds left. It's all over. It is all over, Dean. Daria Samchik with the ground and pound inside the last 10 seconds. And look at that for an upset. I mean, look at that. If you took bets on this fight, you'd almost certainly want to back back, no pun intended. But Samchek came in. Her confidence grew throughout the rounds. She used her power. She used her aggression. She used the top position to pound back out. That was such a beautiful mix of a really like a, a grappler using her striking to open up the grappling game and then win. I mean, what a win from Samchek. I mean, put it in perspective for Nina back. European silver medalist, then gold silver medalist. That's a good haul. But as you said, Samchik for me, you rightly said it. She grew in such confidence in the final round and her striking, she came forward with it, which really doubled the impact. And then for me, Nina Back's takedown attempts were worrying in the third round. Um, they were very tired, weren't they? And then that final one, when Samcek got the opportunity, the ground and pound was vicious. Yeah, back coming back a little bit laboured with those takedowns and that. I mean, that's the thing, when you get struck on, you don't know, it messes with your equilibrium and it does mess with your endurance as well. So those heavy strikes could have played a part in her getting a little bit more tired. And that promoted the lazy shot, which enabled Samcheck to sprawl. And then the rest of it unfolded with regards to the top position. But I mean, awesome work. Samcheck using brute force and power in a technical manner to gain a win. Yes, and she is the new world champion. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. After two minutes and 52 seconds of round number three, we have a TKO due to strikes. So your winner and the unified female strawweight champion of the world in the red corner for Ukraine, Daria. Sanchez! Yes, an incredible result for Sanchez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, would you like to overt, draw your attention to the podiums? Please welcome to present the medals IMAP director, Mr. Raymond Phillips. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on to the podium. So, Dean, if we look here, Don this is the final moment. Wins. Medalist. and the ground and pound and Samchik at this point just generally seemed the stronger of the two didn't she and the, the upright battles she slowly but surely took ascendancy of yeah I mean even then you can see that the, the, the fatigue factor look at this is really labored take down Nina back just trying to drive There's through and look at this sprawl ball, real ball, heavy ball, hits from Samchik yeah, just seemed to me she was the more ball. fresher fighter and look at this TKO finish brutal punches from the top position maintaining the pressure and forcing the referee to stop this one Yes, big, big finish, big, big win for Samchik from the Ukraine. And from Russia, Svetlana 